discussion they asked about the space station for this year mains most of the students prepared very well about chandrayaan 2 expecting that it is the major thing that happened in the space for india so they are very strong in the chandrayaan 2 however as we know upsc generally avoids the questions on those topics which are widely covered in the newspapers because such a question can be asked by everybody who cleared the prelims examination so this year they asked about the space station then how did you if we ask about question if you see after the chandrayaan 2 was launched isro chairman has come out for a press conference there he discussed about chandrayaan 2 and also about various plans india has on the space program there he elaborated talked about our idea to study venus to study mars once again to study sun by aditya l1 project and our idea to send human beings into the space you know the human space program gaganyaan similarly talked about our plan about space station also like that through the speech only we understood that isro has a plan of you know uh, sending a space station into the orbit of the earth so those who have followed the isro chairman speech definitely would have spent 2 to 3 minutes on doing some research about exactly what india wants to do with the space station what are the benefits of it and those points would have definitely helped them in this year's mains examination so on this note i want to give a suggestion to the students please focus on speeches given by important personalities for example on public day the speech by president of india you have to go through entire speech and you have to do some research on various things he talked about every year in upsc both prelims as well as mains there will be few questions from the president speech similarly the speech of prime minister of india on independence day you have to go through it the budget speech by finance minister you have to go through it then when major events like chandrayaan 2 etc happen and if the chairman of the organization is so gives a speech you have to carefully go through it of course the newspapers also they mention about the speech when you go through it you have to do some research on it now coming to this question see this question is very specific it is asking only two things one is what is india's plan to have its own space station first part second part is how will it benefit the space program so you have to more discuss about these two aspects some of our students who wrote mains this year said that as soon as they saw the space program this part immediately they wrote more points about you know the venus mission the mars mission the gaganyaan these things but see those things you have to limit to only two or three lines and most of your answer major chunk of the answer should be consisting of these two parts what is india's plan what are the benefits that's all now in the introduction in the introduction it is better if you spend few lines and write about what is the space station and what is its importance or current scenario see space station is nothing but a large space craft it is a space craft you know that orbits around the earth around there it's like you know if i get you can say artificial satellite and see the the space craft orbits around the earth and generally we send the astronauts or cosmonauts into the space craft so that they live there they live there and they can study about the you know behavior of human beings in the space they can conduct some experiments that's why space stations generally have science laboratories they have science laboratory to conduct experiments so also you can mention about the present scenario of the space stations at present in the space we have only one working space station that is international space station but you know but don't discuss much about it because it's not a part of the question just you can write maybe one line about the international space station you can mention that india is not a part of the iss or even china is not a part of the iss that's why china and india want to launch their own space stations iss actually have mostly they have only five countries five space agencies the you know from united states they have nasa is working on it in russia russia is also working on it and the european space agency is a part of it similarly japan is a part of it also canada also canada is part of it. only the space agencies of these five are working on iss so that's why actually china has launched its own space station tiangong 
DR1. DR1 2 was launched in uh, uh, 2016. It is deorbited in 2019. Actually, it's kind of experiment done by China to know whether they can, you know, work on the space station. And hence, based on success of this uh, DR1 2, China is planning to launch another space station in next three years by 2022. So China is a serious uh, uh, contender in the space race uh, globally. So after discussing about what a space station is and present scenario, immediately move on to what is asked in the question. Because marks will be given only for what is asked in the question. There won't be much more introduction, maybe carry half or one mark. But mostly you have to address these two parts. So let us come to the first part. What is India's plan? See, India's plan is understood purely from the speech of Iswar Chairman. He clearly revealed the plan of India. A few points which he has told in the, in the press conference uh, are, one is, we want to make very small, very small space station, space station, maybe 20 ton, a small space station. Actually, ISS is a very large space station, almost size of a football ground, whereas Tiangong is very small, size of, you know, uh, a school bus, a school van, it is very small size. India wants to launch a very small space station of 20 ton. As you know, India actually is excellent in the space, particularly in making low budget, you know, space programs. For example, our Mars mission is the lowest budget, nobody respected. Similarly, if we can prove uh, that we can manufacture this one also for uh, you know low cost, definitely it will increase India's standing in the international uh, space research. Then our plan is to actually launch it, launch it in a low earth orbit, low earth orbit, some 400 kilometers from earth, that's our plan. Then our plan is actually to launch it within 7 years after Gaganyan. 7 years after Gaganyan. Why? Why are we linking this with the Gaganyan? We are linking it because, see, Gaganyan is a human space lift program. We want to send three crew members, three astronauts from India into the space to understand whether we can do that or not. So, you know, definitely the extension of the Kaganya is a space station. Because space station is nothing but we want to, you know, leave a artificial uh, satellite, a spacecraft in the space and there we want to spend, send the astronauts, cosmonauts who can do experiments. So, it actually a manned, a manned space station only. So, definitely through Gaganyan, anyhow we are able to go for the manned space mission. So as an extension, we are going for the space station. It's a natural extension. That is why they said 7 years, within 7 years after the Gaganyan. So India's plan is by 2030, we want to launch the, you know, the uh, space station. Similarly, see, not only, not only they asked about the uh, plan, but also what are the benefits what are the various benefits for the India's space program? See, there are several benefits. For example, uh, first one is, or one of the benefits is, our space program in the long term wants to generate revenue. We want to commercialize it. For example, as you know, because of GSLV, we are able to launch the satellites of many other countries. Our PSLV has launched samples of several countries and are not revenue. Similarly, we want to commercialize commercialize the low earth orbit. We can generate a lot of revenue from the space station. Particularly because by 2024, by 2024, mostly ISS in the space station will be disbanded because of huge maintenance cost and and now uh, crunch in the funding. So at that time, by the time we launch a space station, there won't be international space station. But at that time, the competitor will be the China. China's Tiangong will be there in the space mostly. So as we have, we have our own space station, we can invite countries to come and work there and we can actually commercialize it. That's one of the benefits to our space program. Similarly, see, uh, right now, whatever ISS is doing, all those things can be done by our space mission. For example, ISS is right now working on manufacturing of vitamins, proteins, and you know, biotechnology, treatment for several diseases they are working on. All these things can be done by India, which will give more weightage to our space program. Similarly, see, disaster management. That through the space 
session, our scope for trust management will improve and also you know, monitoring the water quality will improve. Thus, it will benefit our space program. Also, also, young minds, you can say, you can say many young people of India right now who have taken science as their field of interest can start working in the space technology because this will be kind of inspiration for the Indians and people who want to work on the space missions. Similarly, we can send our own astronauts and cosmonauts regularly into the space, regularly into space and we can work on their safety. Means what are the various problems that astronaut gets in the space? We can study them. Based on that, we can design the further missions. For example, after the space station, we can design, we can implement further manned space missions and they can become a global leader. We can become, you know, a global leader in the space missions. And we can win the space race. The space race. Also, it is useful for the international community. Not only for India, but also for international community. See, if you want to sustain the manned space missions, just by launching again here, we cannot be successful. You know, we have to sustain that. For sustaining, this is a must. Like that, it will benefit the space program. So after discussing some of the benefits of, space program, uh, of the space station, you have to spend some three or four lines discussing the challenges. In the question, they might not have asked, but you can mention towards the challenges for our uh, uh, space station and you conclude it giving some hope, you know, in, in a positive note. The challenges which you can talk about is, first one, presently the, you know, the powerful rocket which we have is GSLV MK3. But this GSLV MK3, its payload capacity should still be increased if you want to achieve the human space mission. So that is the first challenge for us. Second one is, see, even if you have the space station, we should be able to dock, we should be able to dock the space station with the spacecrafts which are going there. For that docking infrastructure is of you know, expensive. So uh, can we spend that much in our budget? for the dog infrastructure. Second challenge you will observe. Third is, there should be enough space. There should be enough space for the cosmonauts to actually live there and work there comfortably. That also to keep in mind. If these three challenges can be addressed, definitely our own space station can become a reality within the next, uh, you know, eight years or by 2030, can make it a reality. Finally, in the conclusion, as I always suggest you, in the conclusion last two to three lines, you live in an optimistic note. Maybe you can say that as of now India is doing very well in the space missions. Maybe it may be studying of the Mars, studying of the Moon or Althea L1, uh, the one which you are doing to study the Sun or Gaganyan, the space mission. We can also talk about the, you know, this um, the reusable uh, launch vehicle technology demonstrator which we have done few years back. We can talk about that. Similarly, one more feather in our cap will be the space station definitely will become as you know, the leader of the uh, space in the international community. So, any other points?